Okay, you know what? I'm home alone. <laughs> so instead of doing a voiceover, which is what I was going to do, um, I'll just talk during the video. I mean, there's no reason why I can't. And it saves... I Like, I don't have to do as much editing. So it makes sense to just talk while I'm doing this. So all I did is... In this small Dilutions journal, I have torn out quite a few pages. Um, it's a 48 page journal, and I have torn out, let me see. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Eighteen pages. So I guess there's thirty pages left in the journal, and I'm keeping these to either. Well, I'm going to keep it regardless whether it gets used in this journal or not because it's fabulous paper. But my thought was the pages that I tear out, I can use them for creating flips or tags, like inserts or whatever. So, clearly, I'm not going to throw them out. Because I wanted to make this album all Christmas, and I knew there was no way, especially for one year, and I didn't want to have to do it and then save it and wait for next year for more Christmas stuff. I wanted it entirely done this year. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to do 48. I'll be shocked if I do the 30. So... That is why I tore out a bunch of pages. Plus the journal gets really thick anyway, like once you do stuff to it, so it's kind of nice having more room in there. So this one, did I do a video for this one? I did. There is a video on my YouTube channel for this. And I did not do a video for this. I just did a little cutout and put the snowman there and just drew a snowman on the other side as well. And that's just all collage paper. And then paint. It's cherry pie shimmer paint. And then her stencil, her new one. Um, Star Fleury, and that's her collage. And then this isn't Christmas collage, it's old collage, but she has the kissy lips. <laughs> and then this says, Kiss you under the mistletoe. I wouldn't kiss you under anesthetic. So I thought it was kind of cute. And I put, Please, <laughs> like as if. So there's that, and this is one of her couture, couture stamps that I stamped on marker paper and then colored with Copics and then glued it down. This one, there's a video coming out today actually, I mean today as I'm playing, not today as in when you'll see this video. So it will be on my YouTube channel by the time you see this video. I thought this was, it's so simple and easy, but just doing this makes it look so much more interesting to me. I think so anyway. I love it. So now that I'm looking at this, I think I want to paint this page black as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before we continue on with this. So this was painted in black shimmer. But I think I'm going to do this in just simple black marble. Did I use shimmer on that as well? I think I did. I don't know. I'm not going to paint this because you're not going to see it. 
I'm just painting this because some of it will be exposed. So I'm just going to use regular black marble paint on this page. And that's all I need to do as long as what's being exposed is painted. So I'm just going to put that aside and dry while I deal with this page which was painted with the black marble shimmer paint. So now my idea for this is I'm going to add this snowman and I'm going to leave a little bit of a border around it. My thoughts are I'm going to turn this into a pocket Ooh, which means I'm going to have to trim this and then this is going to just slip inside so I want this snowman to come a bit there because I want him to be peeking So, just taking a white charcoal pencil and I just put a white line where I want the snowman. Just so I know where to place them. And before I forget, I'm going to cut a little bit off the top and the bottom because I know I'll forget. So I'm going to cut maybe a quarter of an inch off both. save those just in case. I'm going to use my corner rounder. Oh, darn it. I'm going to trim a little bit off of there as well because I wanted that to be the outside because then it was going to get cut off because I'm cutting around the snowman as well, but I'll just trim it. That one I am tossing. I'm just gonna go around the edge. I don't like seeing that starkness against the black. And before I continue on, I think I just want to put some sprays on the back, something quick and easy. So I'm getting Tim's splat box because I have a love-hate relationship with sprays. I love how it looks, I just hate using them. <laughs> I think I will go with, hmm. do I want to use? Oh, you can't see. I'm going through. I keep all Diane's shimmer sprays in this thing. And all her regular sprays are in a drawer. Okay, I thought there was a red. There's Fiery Sunset. I kind of want a red-orange combo for some reason. So 
which orange? Tangerine Dream. Yeah, I think I'll do a Tangerine Dream because I don't want a huge difference. I'm going to lightly spritz the paper first so it'll flow. Darn it. It's another reason why I hate sprays. It's a hit or miss if you get a, a thing that works. Hopefully this one works. Yay. Kinda. Seriously? Grr. Oh, I forgot to try the trick where you turn it upside down and oh well. I'm gonna cross contaminate my orange and my red. Love hate relationship. <laughs> and I'm going to put the tops on these before I tip it over because I know I will. So that was Tangerine Dream and Fiery Sunset. I'm going to dry that a little. I don't know where my paper towel is. Because my room is not quite a room yet. <laughs> I'm afraid what the black is going to be looking like on the other side. I'm avoiding turning it over yet because I don't want to get upset. <laughs> okay, I want to find some paper towel. Okay. I always wish that when you blot, the pattern that the paper towel leaves would stay there. Sometimes it is so pretty. Now I'm going to try doing the ghosting technique. I don't always have great success with it. I don't know if I don't let it sit long enough. Or if I let it sit too long. I don't know. So this is being shown to you in real time. So if this doesn't work, you can tell me what I did wrong. Or if I don't use enough water or I use too much water. I'm letting it sit. <laughs> I don't know if ooh, I can see it there. I don't know if I'm supposed to remove this stencil or leave it on and then blot it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be much of anything. Oh well. It is what it is. I don't want to fool around with it too much. didn't get wrecked. Now that needs to be dried. This is very wet. I 
I can see the pattern when I tip it a certain way. It's probably not showing up on camera, but mm, shimmer sure is. I use shimmer on the back, yeah, shimmer on the background of this one, right? Yes, I did. Pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. I think. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with regular black. Star Flurry Stencil. So there's not too much happening, but there is something going on. I should put paper behind it so I didn't have to clean up. Oh well. I'm doing the whole thing even though I know some of it's going to be covered, but this way I don't have to figure out where. Okay, and that just gives it a little tone on tone. And no, I don't clean my stencils. I wouldn't be bothering to dry it, it's just I want to be able to glue something down on top of it. So I'm trying to make sure that it's dry. And my tape runner, I do have backup tape runners, but <laughs> my drawers have been taken out of their unit. Unit? Yeah. And, um, the one that has my extra adhesive is on the bottom of a pile and I refuse to go through that pile because <laughs> the drawers are not light. So I'm like, I can do without it until it gets put back. I didn't always use a tape runner so clearly it's not necessary. I just like it. I like using a combo of glue. I just don't trust just simple glue stick and nothing else. And that goes for all glue sticks. under my fingernail. It looks so dirty when you get paint under your nails. Okay, now I'm going to cut around it like I did with the e.l.f.
It's funny, I got these scissors accidentally. I wanted the regular size scissors, like these. This was the size I meant to order when I ordered these little babies. And I was so bummed when they came. And I tried using them and it was driving me crazy because they were so tiny. And now it's all I use. <laughs> I've grown to love them. See, sometimes I think we're just stubborn. We don't want to, uh, it's not what we wanted. So, you know, pulling a little fit and saying, no, that's not what I wanted to use. I don't like it. And then we do like it. It's not the best cutting out I've done. Okay, I'm trying to decide. How I want to do this. gonna add some lines like continuing with the look of that Then I'm not going to bother creating a hinge or anything because nothing thick is going in there. So I'll probably end up cutting this down a bit more though. So I'm just going to use thin double sided sticky tape. This stuff is, I don't know what this brand is, because it's so thin. <laughs> the words cut off. I used to get my double sided sticky tape at the dollar store big mistake. If it's something that you want to stay, have stayed stuck for years, like I don't know what this stuff's going to do, but this is not cheap dollar store stuff. But, um, and I'm not one, like, you know, you have to have the expensive thing or whatever, but the dollar store double-sized sticky tape, it will not stay stuck. My friend and I used to use it all the time, scrapbooking. And everything we used it on falling off all falling apart so just letting you know so 
that is stuck down, creating a pocket. Yeah, I'm going to trim this down a little bit more. I think that looks cute. It's like he's peeking. trying to decide if I want something there or not. I kind of like it as is. Now what to do with this side. lens right in. <laughs> I don't know. I think that I am going to I think I'm just going to simply stencil with black and um, that's what I'm looking for. And then just sketch around it with the white white marker just to keep it simple. I'm not going to use shimmer. I'm just going to use the Matt. I know Diane says you don't need to shake her paints. I just do it out of habit. <laughs> I don't even realize I'm doing it half the time. So it's not that I don't believe her. I just, it's pure habit. Is 
So that stencil is Ice Queen. I like that. I like that a lot. Yay. I know I shouldn't do this right away, but I'm impatient. This is like pretty much done. <laughs> so I don't want to have to come back to it. So even, like you can see the white, but I do find <laughs> like there's shimmer sprays under the black paint. So to me, I think that shimmer spray, like once you put the white marker on it, is even coming up through the black paint and you can see a tint of orange in it unless it's because sometimes my marker goes over the orange and then it's just making it look that way. But I mean, I went on the orange there and here I'm purely on the black and it looks white. So it's just like certain areas. I don't know, but I really like that. It's so simple, but I think it's so pretty. And even though it kind of seems like Halloween colors, <laughs> I really like it. I like it. And I know there's not much to it, but... Ooh, could put a quote on there from our stickers. Just to add a little something. Black or white? Oh, see the white pops, but the black looks cool. E. Mm. And it says naughty or nice decisions decisions so I'm thinking maybe I'll put it's all fun and games until Santa checks the naughty list I'm gonna go with white
Yeah. I'm going to keep it like that. I was thinking about moving it up, but I am not. And I'm just adding a little bit of extra glue because you, know, you have the shimmer sprays and I don't know how dry it is. So I'm hoping the wet glue will help if the sprays aren't quite dry enough. Plus, you know me and my trust issues with stickiness. <laughs> this glue that I have it's Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. I always used to use um, Scotch Quick Dry and it became harder to find like because I wanted it in acid free in that as well. And like I said it became harder to find so I was looking for a substitute so I bought a couple and it's a bit like it's really thick so it's not the easiest to get out but what I love about it is the top and it is designed to actually be upside down so what I like is I can glue something and then just lay it in its top while I'm doing something but when you're done make sure you push down all the way until you hear a click because I wasn't and it was getting clogged. <laughs> Anyways, in case you're interested, I don't remember the cost because I don't even remember where I bought it. Probably Amazon or Science's stamp. I know I bought another kind, but I don't think I've tried it yet. Bought this one as well. So I think this one's cheaper. I think this one's Tonic Studios. But well, it stays up. But you would not be able to so easily just like I get a feeling it would like topple over if you're being too quick. But I haven't tried that one yet because I've been enjoying how convenient this one is. Anyway, so that is that. I think that's cute. You just get the snowman like peeking out. And if you wanted to, like if you want to make, you, this could become like a journaling spot. I'm not doing that with this. Like if you wanted to use it as a December daily. It could be a cute spot to tuck some memorabilia and do some journaling. So yeah, and that's the page. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.